missile. Prismatic spear. Shillelagh. Unfailing premonition. Sequester. Uh, disintegrate. Animal growth. Leoman's lamentable belaborment. All right, are we here? Are we good? Vortex, you're on. Go. Yeah, I'm on. Any, can anyone hear me? <laughs> I can. Hello. Hello. Are we Hello. good? Good. Hi. All right, so multiples cast and spells. If you all don't know what multiples are, that's fine. We're going to review. It's been a long time since we talked about multiples. Come quad. I need your help. Oh no! I'm hello. <laughs> you forgot your, your catchphrase there. All right, so. You see the you see the doc there, Kumquat? Yes. All right. So uh, let's go for let's go for the glossary. Oh, read me read quick. me the glossary. Hey, Portex, real quick, maybe we should say mm -hmm. something about how there is a little issue with the video that we are uh, aware yes. of. Yes, there is. So the video with the YouTube is kind of being goofballs right now. Uh, they're fixing it. They're working on it. Um, I don't understand how the magical computer box works at all. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna be up there. I believe it's puppy time doing the uh, doing the arty art. And uh, yeah, well, it, we'll get it fixed. It'll be pretty. It'll be pretty great. It sounds and like YouTube is a multiple system. It is right, right. YouTube is front, and, front and bad. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Who do we got here? We got, we got uh, Frank. We got uh, Bozarth. We got Toast. We got JW Freeman. We got Kumquat. We got I don't know some other people. Probably Shell Game. Aww. I think Shell Game's in here. I don't have Frank. No, Frank is not in here. Actually, I lied. I lied. I read things wrong. I'm a good host. Don't worry about it. Anyway, come on, tell us, tell us what our multiples are out. while my other headmates try to figure out how to get the uh, get the thing uh, to work. We are, we are. The F plus is a multiple system. That's uh, right. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, I am here to tell you about the gloss, the glossary. Mm -hmm. um, th this is a, a, a character. Mm -hmm. uh, a, ca a character is someone originating from a story who classifies themselves as a character. Gotcha. Uh -oh. All right. Good. <laughs> Using the definition of the using the word in the definition of the word, it's always good. It's pretty yeah. disturbing, actually, when you think about it. Giving every single character written like self awareness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm stuck yeah. in the it's, it's yeah, always I, that. It's always that episode of Star Trek with the uh, with Moriarty. I, I don't know. I don't know what the C. I don't know what the C in NPC stands for, but it's probably something. Uh, co fronting. When two is that more... like cold fronting? Are you <laughs> yes. co-fronted? Yeah, it's a it's a hip like hyphenation of when you lose some words and makes it all hip slang. Yeah, co 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 with a with an apostrophe fronting. Uh, when two or more members of a system share consciousness and bodily actions of the host Ooh, slash core. That's right. Oh. So it's like the three stooges trying to get through the door. Yeah. <laughs> all right, what is what is what? a fictive? Uh, uh, um. <laughs> I, I, um um frank west um oh no uh, a member a member of a system who originates from a work of fiction actually that's true um this is a controversial term and some find it offensive really? that's and true. prefer the term soul bond it's great uh, that offends me so i created something way stupider instead <laughs> you didn't yeah. I'm... Come into my head and get on the soul bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, come on, what's a headmate? Oh, a headmate. Uh, a headmate is someone who lives in a shared mind space with someone else, either the host slash core or other headmates. Great. What's a what's a median? Um. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, a system in which there is one central person who fronts most of the time, and the others tend to stay in the background. This is like an OS. Can also refer to the central person. That's that's going to come up later, so we do have to um, pay attention to that. All right, uh, finally, what is a walk-in? 
Oh, oh boy. Um, <laughs> see, it's a <laughs> someone who didn't have an appointment at the headspace. Um, <laughs> Someone who can leave and enter the headspace at will. Common in gateway systems. You know, when the headspace is decorated like a cow. Yeah, <laughs> cow, yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, we also have a fact down here. Yeah, thank you. Um, what are... Um, okay, so I'm going to ask you some questions, come quiet, and you just answer them in the, for the, from the FAQ, all right? Okay, okay, okay. Right. I'm ready. What is multiplicity slash plurality? All right, good, good. Uh, is this healthy? All right, good, good. No answers there. Uh, is this schizophrenia or bipolar disorder? Uh, no, okay, no answers given. That's fine. Uh, it's not either of those things, by the way. <laughs> um, does the system need to be able to switch fronters to be considered multiple? All right, good. Uh, how do relationships between systems work? All right, good. Uh, what happens if two victims of the same character meet? All right, good. Uh, and is it possible to make yourself multiple? Damn it. This kumquat has just got to just I'm a really good there. podcaster! Yeah, there he is! <laughs> you did it! Why do you write out an FAQ and just not answer things? Like, why because, put that in there? Because you have to. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just a list of questions that are frequently asked. FAQ implies nothing about answers. What, are, you a, <laughs> are you a senator on trial? Like, I do not wish to comment at this time. <laughs> Uh, I mean, they could be right now, but I think a senator can walk in and out. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. All right, so um, if we scroll down here, um, there's a couple of questions here that we can ask about how this works. Um, so if you scroll down to, I have a boyfriend. Uh, now, Toast, you can ask uh, ask your question about your boyfriend, and uh, Shell Game, you can answer it. Okay. Uh, well, I am anonymous. Um, I have a boyfriend. He's had relationships with my alters, and they've had relationships on the inside world. Because they seem to feel like the two are so separate, it's not cheating. Hmm. <laughs> wow, that's a... Wow, way to come up with that excuse on the fly. <laughs> Recently, my alter has been getting closer to me and told me he's in love with me. I think I love him, too. My boyfriend seemed reluctant, but said he guesses it's okay because of the inner outer thing. The belly button. Ah, yeah, <laughs> sure. I, that is what I, I call the belly button. The inner outer. I cannot parse this. Oh my god. I'm worried that this will go wrong or that my boyfriend will start treating that altar with contempt, etc. Ugh, help. Mm. Spell game, please help me. <laughs> I don't know what's <laughs> happening. Well, I think you should talk to your boyfriend about this. Be open. Make sure that he's make sure that he's being honest. It's the lasso of truth on him. Tell him <laughs> you won't judge him if he is. Talk about why you want it and how it will help you, and that you won't love him any less. You could also look into resources for telling your significant other you're interested in polyamory, which does apply a bit in this situation. <laughs> it With does. you and all the Deadpools living in your head. It's fine. You want to open a relationship? Yes, to the, you know, to uh, the person in my head. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Uh, there we go. So, uh, let's see. So, if we scroll down a bit here. Um, so, I want I want to open up with this to say this person that they're talking about is is a headmate it's this is not we're not talking about an actual person here so just um, i have to i have to i have to preface this um oh. so if you uh scroll down to uh from fiction.tumblr.com um someone i know has been very traumatized um let's see here uh uh jw friedman if you want oh, to geez. if you want to ask the uh the question here and uh let's see who has not who has not gone yet um the intern hasn't gone yet oh yeah the intern yeah intern uh, you can answer the question that's fine well thanks for the hot potato portax um <laughs> yeah, no problem all right so i am anonymous uh -huh. someone i know has been very traumatized by their close friend in another system because he committed suicide is the there any way to the headmate yeah the headmate it's the headmate, it's yeah. a headmate. <laughs> Something yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is there any way to somehow summon him into my headspace 
to become a system <laughs> member, perhaps? <laughs> Via reincarnation? It's kind of a desperate <laughs> situation. I think phase. more like necromancy. <laughs> I mean, do you have enough, like, uh, Phoenix Downs? I mean... <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just inject I'll just inject the headmate with this glowing green liquid, and they'll just come back to life. Uh, I'm possibly going to get in trouble, quote-unquote, for answering this, Anon, but uh -oh. I'm going to go ahead and do it, because I have a lot of sympathy for you and your friends here. Oh, wow, great. Finally, in my... Saying belief system yes it is absolutely possible to summon this person into your headspace and i will talk about how to do it in a minute but before i do i want to talk about some mental slash ethical considerations okay this is not something considered possible in the sense of medical uh did slash osdd systems sharing yeah, all none of this is yeah, sharing altars is not a thing, medically speaking, and I am aware that at least some of the DID community considers the idea inherently abusive. I am going to discuss sharing headmates only in a spiritual slash magical supernatural context. Can I say okay. it is very brave of you to stand up to the DID community? Mm -hmm, <laughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm. So is if you attempt to bring the head made into your mind, I want you to promise and I want your friend and all involved to promise to me, to each other and to yourselves that you will not under any circumstances talk about this head made and their return to their original host slash body slash system. Don't do not. If you even consider this, you are doing harm. This person oh, left that system wow. for a reason slash the system lost this person for a reason. And bringing up that they are alive in your head now is not going to do them any favors. It is borderline abusive. I do rule. not condone it. It's the first With rule. that said. Oh, no. Never oh, mind. No. <laughs> do no harm out the window. I... Yeah. And other soul bonders I know personally have been in situations where one of my bonds has been very attached to someone else's bond. Uh -huh. And then okay. that person had to be removed from our lives for some reason in this situation. It is sometimes possible for you or another bonder. I'm sorry, there's like a disaster happening outside while I'm typing this, but I, I will <laughs> yeah, somebody, I will finish my thought. What does that outside. mean? I don't know. It, there's sirens. In this situation, it is sometimes possible for you or another bonder to being the last the lost bond into their headspace. In all of the contexts where I have been party to this personally, none of us were in any further contact with the original soul bonder. And the quote unquote theft slash resurrection of their bond was never mentioned to them. I stress that again. The the, the sirens are the DID community coming to arrest you. Oh no. <laughs> I don't have much time to finish this, so I'll I'll move quickly. <laughs> don't don't if worry. You have the, decided, don't worry, the headmate community is just one person. <laughs> you might never see me again, so let me say this. If you have decided you are really going to try to bring this person into your headspace, Anon, follow my advice for summoning a soul bond. Do automatic writing slash drawing exercises. Automatic writing. Answer questions from another party as the person you are trying to summon. Do, med do meditative work. If you work on developing the connection, it is possible that you will be able to summon them into your headspace. Okay, this is... This is, but this is how I'm not done. Oh, no. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> I'm not done, <clears throat> however. <clears throat> it is also possible that they will not want slash be able to come in. And if that is so, don't try to force it, Anon. If they don't want to enter your headspace, you will unfortunately just have to help your friends. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Hanson is part of the DID police. Hanson is in my brain. Oh no, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Don't try to force it or not. And if it, oh no, oh, I think, thank you, thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate this award, and I'm gonna go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hey, um, so I have heard that it's a good time to talk about donation incentives. So um, I'm doing one this year. I'm doing four this year. It's me, J.W. Friedman. Hi. Um, the donation incentive that I will be doing is if you donate $150, uh, I will record a brief song in the style of your choice. And it's a high quality recording because y'all know me. I like to do music. Um, I will do whatever style you want and it will be about your cat. And if you don't have a cat, that's okay. It can also be about like your stupid dog or hamster or whatever. I don't care. Um, <laughs> but yes. Yeah, so if, if you'd like a song about your pet, um, cat i will do that so donate and lemon wanted me to remind you to click through to the next button rather than the just donate button so you can actually fill out the stuff you need to fill out and i'll get in touch with you to get all sorts of information about your cat and hopefully some cute pictures uh, also dog or whatever um yeah thanks yeah yeah so you see you want a song about your cat you do or your dog or your hamster or your python or your you know orchid mantis all of can that it be, can it be about garfield Ooh, see? He belongs uh, yeah, to the I world. Mean, it, I mean, if Garfield is part of your system, then I can make it happen. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, Garfield Double, has uh, always been part of my system. That's what I call some Lorenzo music right there. Um, <laughs> no! Uh, shell game. Yeah? So now that we uh, know the ethics of bringing someone's dead mate into the armor. You don't actually yeah. like I never got to finish because the yeah, music that's... played me off and that's, <laughs> that's like so, so abusive and it causes so much harm and that's all I want to say except 10 more things. <laughs> Good. Hey we got one. Thank you Shane boy. Awesome. <laughs> oh, thank god. The dancing girls are here which is good. Um, Shogun, can you tell us about plural magic? Just immediately oh, I under sure there? can. <laughs> uh, I, I, I can once that go, once your name pops off the thing. Okay. I wanted to start by introducing our family. We are three women. <laughs> we are Hanson. We are Hanson. Three women singing Hanson songs. <laughs> We are a Hanson cover band, and we <laughs> identify with Fey and angelic energies. Uh, su student pseudonymous pseudon synonymously. Sorry, yeah, pseudonymous pseudonymously. We send that we tend to go by the same names of animals with whom we feel an affinity. Oh, good. I've gone by Fuzzy Jailing on Tumblr because I am a fuzzy J.W. Friedman. <laughs> uh though I've gone, oh, hey. <laughs> I, I though I've had a lot of wolf influences lately, so I guess I'm in flux. <laughs> <laughs> I <Anime>. decided <laughs> I decided to retain the name for now. It's unfortunate that Jay is typically a guy's name. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I more tend to claim. identify with Fey energy. You could call me the innkeeper. <laughs> good. Oh, looks like all songs have been by. Nice job, everybody. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to Sea Hag and Shane Boy and Darth Bob eighty eight, and uh, there was one other. Hang on, I saw it here. Who else had bought a song? Secret Gadget. Thank you, everyone. Nice. I hope oh, yeah. I hope you like bad music. <laughs> <laughs> well, too bad they're going to be getting. I your love bad music. music. <clears throat> thanks, everyone. Oh, shucks, thanks. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Well, you could call me the innkeeper as a thanks. I'm the one who was born here, and I spend most of my time here. I found the other two by inner journeying, or maybe they found me, Colin. <laughs> We've become very close, though. I'm into cities and nature, technology and simplicity, all sorts of contradictions. I'm just so unique. Oh my god! I oh, identify I... as. Oh, pagan. we can go. We can go anywhere to eat. I like all kinds of music. <sighs> yeah, I was, about, 
Yeah, I was about to say everything is... but rap and country. Yeah, and this is someone who commissioned you for just any art. You can just draw whatever. All right, here's this, not that. Okay, thanks. Just make it look good. Okay, so, so next up is Dove, who identifies with angelic energy. Identifies uh, with the ice cream bar. Uh, let okay. Just so you are all aware, less of the Judeo-Christian variety and more of a general helper to the divine. So don't yeah, okay. don't go don't go like Christianifying this. Her <laughs> big thing is song, or rather, song. <laughs> <laughs> or rather, song capitalized. So, I, um, Bob? <laughs> so yeah. You all got, you all bought your, <laughs> bought your presents too early. Yeah, the Hanson cover band thing is still, still stands. <laughs> uh, also, Starlight and by extension, Sunlight. Get it? Okay. Lately, she has been on a quest to understand and experience being human. Also, currently obsessed with cheesecake. Oh, oh so wacky. like pinups? No, or? no, no, she, no. She is <laughs> Dove. Is Dove is wacky? Oh, Dove. Oh, okay. Dove I'm a contradiction. Uh, the third is Sparrow, who identifies with Fey energy, and she likes to spend her time in the wilds, telling stories and poetry, and dancing around fires. She's vegetarian. Oh, and it's it's not appropriative of anything, I'm sure. She's vegetarian and prefers her food close to its source. She's obsessed with strawberries. Ah! So she eats them off the ground? Like, <laughs> yeah, she, uh, like... while she's earthing, she eats all of her strawberries. I kind of wonder, if she's vegetarian and the other two aren't, is that become, like, a problem? <laughs> or uh, Maybe I'll, I'll look at the fact and <laughs> look at the FAQ and see if they answer the question. Like, I have an answer for you. I have an answer uh, for you. Okay, what, what's the answer? Oh, what? Oh, really? That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this FAQ is really good. Dinner, 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 dinner. We like to write all of us into rituals we write. Uh, wow. We write them when we write them. And we, when we write them, point. they are written. It's an excellent leisure facility. <laughs> For the ones I go to, they sometimes participate from inside. They also they are also able to participate directly if we desire by way of something akin to but not identical to riding, <laughs> quote unquote. My yeah. stallion is <laughs> waiting. <laughs> Each of us brings it's full of ponies. <laughs> <laughs> Each of us brings a unique perspective to a ritual. Sparrow, for example, was involved in ex in an ecstatic dance workshop and rocked it. We got compliments cool. afterwards. And yeah. This is the plot of Suspiria. <laughs> <laughs> she found some razor wire. Now, you might be wondering, you might have been, oh. oh. <laughs> there we go, see, she rocked it. Uh, well, you might be wondering where I was, but I had frozen and wallflowered. <laughs> Dove has a special kind of calm and enjoyment in interacting with others. And of course, song! Song! I'm very into the earthy aspect of rituals and often alchemical associations. Like the Masons. Yeah. <laughs> It's often, almost always, really, that we have not felt comfortable sharing that we are three. All participating, sometimes. This is sad. I wish to change this, so I'm setting up this group, comma, to open a conversation. Many people experience speaking with spirits in trees or visiting them in guided meditations or whatnot. <laughs> and you know whatever whatever the fuck else i don't care this is about me and me <laughs> and me that some of us have that some of us have taken it a step further and invited them to share our lives should not be so strange or scary as it is too many people look okay as an aside i'm not saying it's never bad just that there are plenty of cases where it's not bad and it uh, is in fact awesome oh hell yeah um, headmates no. 
Uh, I also feel that it's sometimes dishonest to bring two extra uh, actively participating people into a circle without saying anything to the celebrants. Like, sometimes I get really, like, scared that I'm get, like, I only bought one movie ticket and they're going to find out and charge me for <laughs> they stuck in. They stuck into your brain. <laughs> my, my head is a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> Very tall brain. With three birds in it. Uh... So I'd like to have a dialogue about how to handle such things in general. I would like for groups like us to come up out of the shadows and be able to discuss freely. Good. See? <laughs> what the fuck was any of that? <laughs> I'm standing up for my right to talk as three people. She's, she's a Hydra. <laughs> Good. I... I... I don't understand anything we're talking about. <laughs> they live. They live in the brain. They live in the brain meat, but they're real. See, one oh of no, I a, mean, see, see, one of them's a fairy, and they're the uh, mm -hmm. typical kind of fairy that you would like the job you associate with fairies. You know, being an innkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, toast. Yes. I need you to explain median plurality to me. This all now all makes sense. J -dubs. I, I would be we'll glad to. Out. Yeah, yeah. Now you'll now you this will this will clear everything. Yeah, so, sure. yeah. We're, oh, we brought up okay. medians before, and yeah, this will make sense. Great. I got my I got my notebook out and I'm licking the tip of my pencil. Hit me. All right. Good. All right. Putting on my robe. What is median? Well, the short version is that it's somewhere between plural and single. Oh. Oh. That's it. Not just one. <laughs> One term for someone who is not plural slash median slash etc. If you ever heard someone talk about putting on their game face or showing one side of themselves to one group or another side to another, oh. that's the same sort of idea. No, it's not. <laughs> so code switching? Is that what they're saying? I'm confused yeah, again. Medium is when you act differently in different situations. Mm, it's uh, actually okay. well, it's that, actually system. Yeah. Rather see? than several separate people, this is one person made up of separate people. To quote a very helpful line, you might say something like, There are many of us, but we are really all Karen or aspect of Karen. <laughs> <laughs> They're all Karen's. <laughs> I am I am Legion from Castlevania, and I am rolling down to Hobby Lobby to give you what for. <laughs> <laughs> Only the innkeeper, or the, I guess the manager. <laughs> yeah. I really oh, hope no. that's smart. <laughs> get out of the way, fairy innkeeper. You're going to get complained at. If you ever had one of those color-shifting pens from the 80s and 90s, think of that, too. Press a button, and a different ink comes out. What are you like? Uh, all right. Saint, are you now like St. Patrick? It. Are you like St. <laughs> Patrick for multiples, like explaining it to the people? <laughs> like, yes. This is how the Trinity works. <laughs> it's a can pen. We, can we stone them when they're done? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes. I'll just give you, okay, let's see. Um, if you find yourself getting into modes where you almost feel like you're a different person even though you know you're not, then this may be a useful avenue of exploration for you. I'll just give an example of myself being median. And yes, median, plural, or other ways of being are not mutually exclusive. Plural system members may also be median or plural, and so on. I have identified several of my aspects and assigned them names, to which I'll give pseudonyms. J. <laughs> Protect their privacy. <laughs> so I so this is sock puppeting. <laughs> yeah. These are all my alts. Yeah. If you see something cringe, it was posted on one of these. Uh, it looks like your alts are an acronym for Jelk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for noticing. <laughs> J. This is a side yes. of me that is into magic, <laughs> fey rituals, belief that anything might be possible. See. Actually, J.W. Friedman has been my headmate this whole time. I'm really good at ventriloquism. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we are Legion, and we all want to talk to your manager. <laughs> Here, watch me drink a water while, while J.W. Friedman talks. Go, go, go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Perfect. K. Oh, that's me. K. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. I wish, you, I wish you were my headmate, Clem Quad. <laughs> <laughs> He's loud enough to be. Yeah, yeah. Every time you say hello to someone, that's actually kind of confronting. I would, never, I would never know if I had any other headmates. He's the only <laughs> one I could hear. Scream. 
Okay, this side of me is all about computers. When in this mode, I feel more as if my mental space and mental model are within the computer in a symbolic way. When I am thinking of how to write code, it is a nearly visual or tactile experience inside. <laughs> oh. This, this vague-ass language is driving me nuts. <laughs> I, I, it's like I see things and type stuff, but inside. You're different, yeah, your different senses are people. We all know this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's, my, like the intro, it's like the intro to Hackers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my next or Herman's side, head. <laughs> my next side. <laughs> that's yeah, a reference everyone gets, just, and that's what I love about it. Multiples are all just living Herman's head, huh? <laughs> wow. Yeah, what's okay, up? So, I'm in my 40s. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Herman's head and one of the Simpsons voice actors in it, and a bunch of people, two, no, two of the Simpsons voice actors, and a bunch of people you don't, you, you never heard from ever again. Simpsons has to be on for 50 years because that way it's crossing generational divides. Yeah, it was about four assholes that lived in one asshole's brain and they kind of yelled at each other. Yeah. Yeah, joke. Mm -hmm. They joke. (laughs) joke. Sure. (laughs) They joked a lot. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, is there Herman's Head fanfiction on fanfiction.net? I am going to look that up now. Keep going, Toast. (laughs) Okay. Okay. My next head, my next, uh, whatever we're calling these now, (laughs) my next is E. Eh. Eh. It's it's eh. 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 this eh. side of this side of me is very down to earth and this world mm, this world <laughs> he's got two thumbs and is a planetary body this world there's little more than a this is there's little more than an acknowledgement of the idea that some part of me believes in magic or extraordinary things that was certainly a sentence. She's focused on practical things like doing taxes, food, dealing with people at work, etc. And now, next we have L. <laughs> Here, I, I took the L. <laughs> this is sort of a, a synthesis of K and E, mostly emotionless and fairly ruthlessly pursuing truth and reason. She what? tends to come out if I get into an argument because it's practical to get to the bottom of the argument without reference to emotional distractors. Don't make me angry or you're going to meet L. <laughs> Look at my main. <laughs> L cancel. All of these are essentially me. They aren't separate <laughs> people. And yet, when I'm in one of these modes, everything changes. I can shift from J to E, and I literally stop believing in magic in a visceral way. Sometimes I even feel ridiculous that I recently did believe in magic. Uh, sometimes you oh. do. Sometimes, sometimes you have you moments of clarity. <laughs> Which one of these letters is self-awareness? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now we get to the part... Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Amusingly, E was once so strong that I actually had trouble staying in touch with my other space and Dove and Sparrow because I no longer fully believed in them. That's improved a little over time. Good for you. And now we get to the part where I discuss how this affects magic work. Smiley. Oh, good. Okay, okay. Oh. Of course, given what I wrote about above, the applications are really obvious. So I, I just won't read it, you know. I just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you aren't in the right mode, you can throw off your whole ability to do magic. Jay breathes magic, but if I were suddenly <laughs> <burned, laughs> you know, uh, see, we knew it. Ball. It's it's something you huff. Oh, oh, <laughs> magic is the thing that comes out of the whipped cream can. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. I see so many fey folk. I'll do that. That's why I have to give my ID every time I buy a can of spray paint <laughs> because of the magic. But if I were suddenly E in the middle of a ritual, I can hardly finish it, let alone working it effectively. Outside of magic, you might also find that you are in the wrong mode or aspect when you want to be doing something, and you just can't get interest in that if you just had. When you have a strong conflict between aspect reactions, again like J and E, then it can also cause problems with what you're doing, especially if you flip back and forth as you try to center. My sweetie reads the shallow co-fronting post and gave me some interesting ideas in this Hey, you know what? You know what, Mm -hmm. just... You know what? I think it's time for your kumquat zop side to come out. Oh, kumquat! You need to tell me about finding and communicating with other space and other folks. Hi, I'm I'm French toast. Uh, <laughs> hi. Uh, yeah. I, oh, yeah, yeah. Hello. I would I would like to tell you about finding and communicating with other space and other folks. That's the space outside of toast and folks outside of toast. That's right. This is the one. Yeah, the, anything that's outside of toast right now. Yeah, I'm screaming to you from inside toast. Uh, hello. A pretty fundamental question is, how can you find and communicate with other space and other folk? Guides, familiar spirits, and so on. 
it's different for every person. So all I can really do is to give my experience and hope something clicks for you. Yep, that's all I can do. That's me. <laughs> huh. Perhaps as a writer, perhaps as someone with an active imagination. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Or perhaps someone with a skill I didn't know I had. I've always had an inner or other world waiting for me. The best way I have to describe it is like an ongoing dream and get technical from there. Are you ready to get oh, technical? Get are technical. you ready to get technical? Let's get technical. Yeah. When you are sleeping and you first wake from your dream, you're often disoriented. Semicolon. You think you're fundamentally still inside that dream, but you become aware of this world. I'll call this the three quarters. Three quarter, not three of four, state. <clears throat> In this metaphor. Means, hang on. Three quarters, but not three out of four? Yes, yeah, 75 no. cents. Yeah, no. It's, Those yeah, are it's different. the wall state. Yep, nope. Nope. In this metaphor, four four time means you're completely dreaming. To be on this scale, I'll be... I'll consider what? primarily lucid dreaming. Once you continue to wake up, you are mostly in this world, but the dream is really compelling. You may be holding on to a sense of longing or terror or sadness that it brought to you. I call this <laughs> the two out of four state. And finally, <laughs> not two quarters. Flip. No. Yeah, that's the that's the polka state. The yeah. State. yeah. <laughs> the weird Al. Oompa, the weird Al. Oompa, the... Oompa, <laughs> I want to live with Weird Al in my head forever. And finally, you have a complete awakening where all you're doing is thinking about the fading memories of the dreams. Logically, I'd call that a one out of four state. This ongoing dream is something like a continuous background one out of four dash two out of four state. It's like I'm familiar with this dream and I know it's there and I can sort of feel the edges of it as a reality still, but I'm largely focused on what's out here. When you wake from a dream, you can still sort of see what you would have seen inside the dream. This is also true for me. I can peek in and like watching the last bits of drama play out from a dream from which you've just woken, I can also interact with my ongoing dream what in a limited mean? way. I don't know. What does that no. mean? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, everyone's hitting it. This is what I call my other space. It's oh! a setting. <laughs> <laughs> This is the setting for basically everything else I do in regards to journeying, plural magic, etc. You know, the etc. that is the logical conclusion of those two things that I just mentioned. That's what etc. means. The other uh -huh. list of things after those two things. Yeah. I tend oh. to consider that it's connected to something larger and external, like a hard drive. In other words, this is the map of my terrain, the map of the terrain, my user interface... <laughs> Uh, wow. I'm not sure how one would go about finding such a space anew, but I imagine that starting with creative visualizations and guided meditations would be a wait, good wait. place to practice. But Who guides what's... meditations for this? Who does it? I want to uh, download them on Insight cool. Timer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which bring, oh, which brings me to my next topic. I have a next topic. Did you know that? Oh, you have another topic? Uh, okay. How do you interact with this space? The deepest conscious interaction comes to a three-quarter state. I'm typically laying okay, down okay. somewhere comfortable and tuning out this world to go deeper. I would sometimes put on, oh, 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 oh I would sometimes put on some trancey music on headphones. The answer is, listen to Sandstorm all the time. <laughs> you know what? You are right, Alice DJ. I am better off alone. I can <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. In you the be very best three-quarter state, I would sometimes lose track entirely of what's happening out here, lose track of time, and have very limited sleep paralysis upon coming back. For me, it's an exercise in receiving. Oh, I heard someone uh, once describe Hawaii similarly, that it's a place what? in which you listen, watch, and feel, and through this exercise, you are rewarded. Yeah. A, I mean, that's a, just an actual real place. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, approach yeah. it with a childlike wonder, without expectations. This is very important, because you want to experience what this place has to offer to you, not try, or no, trying to impose your own ideas on how it should work is going to lead you to creative, or perhaps not so creative visualization, not journeying. My other yeah! space...
<laughs> was recently reset, so to speak. So to speak. I so I got to experience this all over again. I, I, lost, I, lost the what the <laughs> I opened my mind's eye without expectations. Oh. I was first in a place of empty whiteness, aka Tumblr. Oh. I could stand, but there was <laughs> nothing safe. anywhere around Anna, me. But, you know. I listened and looked around, waiting for the details to fill. I became aware of a little girl who spoke to me about the place. The two of us chose a starting point, and suddenly it became a large grassy park. There were swings and other children and a treehouse that we'd imagined it a being for her to live in. I asked her name, and she said I could call her the Oracle, <laughs> which amused me a little. I am amused. Given the Matrix character, but it's an appropriate name I found, so that's okay. I did not troll, create the yes, children, nor the swings. I didn't expect them to be there, nor did I ask for them to be there. They simply were. You might call them a part of the Oracle setting, or metaphor, or perhaps they're mine. But either way, there they are. I'm not sure it matters what they really are. I've never tried, but I have little doubt that I could walk over to one and have a conversation. When I'm confused, especially about other space, I talk to the Oracle. I ask Larry Ellison, and then I listen. I'm open, and I receive. Words form in my mind. Yes, that's true. <laughs> oh, perhaps your thoughts that become words for me. You can follow this process and explore and explore <laughs> and explore. Thinking. Let yourself be drawn to things thinking. and people, and you may find that they have advice for you, lessons for you, or are simply fun to talk with. You may find places that have things you need or want, up to and including places you simply feel are enjoyable and homey, a little sanctuary from what's out there. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Not every <laughs> spiritual or meditative thing is about some dramatic insight. We also find peace through this, and always, you listen, you watch, you feel, you don't impose your will on the place. You can speak, you can interact, and in some cases, you do get to build a space. Just like Inception! Ha ha ha! But the true value of it, it's all about letting the space tell you what you see. Let the words and images and ideas come on their own. If you ever find yourself saying, well, crud, I didn't expect her to say that, or any other variation on, whoa, that was surprising, then I'd say you're doing it right. I, I, you are? Or what you're doing, I'm suggesting anyhow. Anyway, I'm not sure there's a global right or wrong here. See? Oh. Now we know how to cast night. See, you were confused. You know, it just occurred to me that okay. these people are fatalists, but for reality. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it just occurred to me, like, when these people discover drugs, it's going to blow their mind. <laughs> oh. So, so you just experienced what's in my head 24-7. It's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> it also never stops talking. Come quiet. Get, please get back into the headspace. I need a, I need a moment. <laughs> so, uh, Shell? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so these are just random quotes from <laughs> different, uh, just, oh. it seems like from different ways to cast spells and, and be magical and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's listed, they're listed as one-liners here because they're just snippets. But uh, if uh -huh, you can just I take see. us through some of these, just a little mishmash, we're just going to be flipping through the multiple channels and just seeing what's on TV. <laughs> you got it. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't really want to disclose my name for fear of the system in question here, but I have a confession. I, as a host of a system, fell madly in love with a member of an old friend's system. The member was a General Hux, a fictive. <laughs> I think I let him closer to myself than I let my own fellow system members. And when he and the rest of his system left, I felt broken to some degree. See, good. Wow. Oh, 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 well, Gen uh, well, you know, I'll try this one on for from, uh, What is that? Is that from Star Wars? That's Star Wars, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, that's one of the uh, the new Star Wars. The uh, God, <laughs> it's the it's the general guy from the. Is new he a, Star is Wars. he a Muppet or is he a guy? Please tell me uh, he's a Muppet. He's a he's a guy. God damn it! <laughs> really We've been on this podcast for over ten years and no one has fucked a Muppet yet. Uh, I don't know what I look like. I have a vague idea of how I manifest in headspace, but no definitive facial features. It's been four years, and I kind of want a face. Is this common? <laughs> what's your What's your face? Um, <laughs> what's wrong? What's what is your, your face? Lack of face? The same film face of my other. Um, someone will get that. Um. This might seem like a weird question, but can altars have different religions? Oh, One no. of mine wants to convert to Judaism, but I don't know how that could be possible. Oh, dear. Oh. 
<laughs> oh god, to be a fly on the wall when that rabbi gets that explanation. <laughs> <laughs> Look, only one of me wants to join the club. What can you do with a headmate who you are attracted sexually or romantic to? Short answer? Whatever the heck you want. <laughs> Long answer. Headspace dating does happen. It's not unheard of. You could certainly try accessing Headspace to do things with them. <laughs> Thank you, whim whimsical teacher. Of some You're sort of welcome. <laughs> some sort of unicorn riding course that I'm taking <laughs> in school or something. Uh, <laughs> um... Hey, no. Do you have any advice for someone who wants to go rid of a headmate? <laughs> it is not a complete being. Its only purpose is to scream. <laughs> so purpose is to scream. I'm reading. I identify with that. <laughs> I made a headmate that says to scream. I've made a headmate that screams. Yeah, it's, it's Guzzlord. It's Guzzlord. Get him in there. <laughs> Oh man, in my head. Does anyone have a goofy fictive? Please write in. <laughs> Mona Lisa is one of our protectors. Uh, <laughs> we consider her this because when we are put in a situation where we could experience emotional harm, she steps in to deal with it. <laughs> and it doesn't bother. She's smiling on the whole time, I guess. Oh, yeah. Mona, make Mona Lisa my stand too. God damn it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> How do I know if the voices in my head are my own or a headmate's? We all seem to sound the same, and I get co confused who's talking. <laughs> Does tend to happen when a bunch of nerds get together. <laughs> is that what they wait? Is that what they sound like? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh? <laughs> They're all tiny Tim Allen. Yeah, for several uh -huh. years, I've had a sexual relationship with my headmate. Is that normal? Like, we aren't dating, but... That big head, no. Yeah, that's <laughs> but such a good I, big as the head, host, though. have a partner outside of the headspace, and I never thought to tell my partner, and I didn't care if I should. What do I do? Oh, Bev. <laughs> good. So, well, uh, well Miss Big Head, uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh, Rocco, when did you get into my head? <laughs> oh, dear. Wow, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> you bust that out more often. I love it. <laughs> so see what it so what we're getting we're getting close to the end of here. What is what did we all learn? What did we all learn? Jay, you learned a lot, right? You're not confused I anymore? Mean, uh, no, absolutely. This all makes perfect sense now. All right, explain explain it to me then. You're upset. Um, I got my I got my chin in my hands. Explain it to me. Um, kids on the internet like to act stupid. Uh, All right, see, so good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Good answer. <laughs> I learned that in order to uh, access my and unlock my true spirituality, I just need to listen to Sandstorm more. Good. Also That's good. True. I learned that Puppy Time has used the making out with oneself gag very effectively. <laughs> I learned that uh I learned that all these people can be both very specific and explain nothing about it and also maddeningly maddeningly vague at the same time. <laughs> like I'm a I'm a wolf fave innkeeper, but also I just like general things and here's how you do this. It's you do it or you don't. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> oh. You know, yeah, the one thing one thing we didn't learn, and because it's not really in in the doc, interestingly enough, we didn't actually learn how to cast any goddamn spells. Um, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't like, and that's not and that's not to disparage the doc. It's just that I was looking through there, and every single person that shows up in the doc talks more about themselves than they do about how to cast well, literal how magic. <laughs> People with this philosophy might be a little self-absorbed. <laughs> they just keep talking uh, about themselves. So yeah, I, tr I tried to find the magic spells. <laughs> didn't didn't really find a whole lot on that front. <laughs> so um, I did learn one more thing. I forgot. Uh, my only purpose is to scream. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what the intern. Is. Uh, uh, I think I think I learned that. Um, 
this might be the answer to all of my problems, honestly. And I think I'm going to be, I think I'm going to dive in, you guys. I think I'm going to really get oh, into no. this whole yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. I mean, yes. Give us some yeah. updates. <laughs> Every... yeah. Oh, good. Which cartoon characters <laughs> move in? Yeah. How, how, how do I subscribe to your Substack? <laughs> you, have to, um, you are legally required to let me know if we overlap. Okay. We'll do. <laughs> Should we all scream goodbye? Oh, we can do that. Uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs>